four, four, five, four, five, four, four. I'm probably gonna throw up. I got my food. My nose is about to run off my face out the door. Tastes like the bottom of the ocean. What's up cousins? It is K Trini's back with another YouTube video. AKA Cam. Welcome to the fam. If you're not gang, you lame. And if you knew, you know what to do. Period. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot cause I'm fly. You ain't cause you not. Girl, I was having trouble remembering that. It's only my second time seeing that in a vlog, like. Y'all want to see the bloopers? Let me go ahead and play them for y'all. Please, aka Cam, if you're not gang. No, wait, I'm seeing it all on the phone. Aka Cam, if you're not fam. What? Aka Cam, welcome to the fam. If you're not getting you lame. Like, what, girl? What are you, what are you saying? Okay. It's Kate needs back with another YouTube video. If you. What am I saying? Welcome to the fam. Aka Cam, welcome to the fam. Okay. So yeah, that was me um messing it up time and time again. But I'm going to get it right eventually. I'm just starting. I just made it up. And we're going to get it together. But anyways, as y'all can see by the title of the video, it is foodie vlog number two. And we'll be trying fo, fo, fa, fo, fa, fo, fo, however you're supposed to say it. That is what we're going to be trying on today. And I know I'm kind of late to the train. I know everybody probably tried this already, but you girl never tried it yet. So I'm on my way to get something for my boyfriend from Ross right quick. And then we're gonna pull up to the five spot. Four, five. I say four. I really don't know why. I think it's four, four. But it just spelled four. Like phobia. It's That's how it's spelled in the front. P-H-O. I don't know y'all, it's weird, but whatever. When we moved out here, I seen this four, four. Oh, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say four. I'm going to say faux because that's what, like, it, I don't know. I found this faux spot. It was, like, down the street from my house. And I seen it on the pass by. And I'm like, mm, I'm going to have to come here. But that was a long time ago. And I never went. But turns out that's not the best one out here. So I'm like, I did my research. And I'm like, hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go to this other one that I seen on TikTok. Because it's real cute in there. Good service, I heard. Food is real good, real seasoned, so that's where I'm going to have to go. I'm not going to go to the one that I seen at first, the one that I was originally going to go to. I'm going to go to this other one, y'all, and the way I seen it on TikTok, it was so cute. I think the other one that I seen is actually somewhere right here. I'm about to pass it up, actually, but I am excited and nervous at the same time because it's like, what does that taste like? Does it taste like ramen noodles? Does it taste like noodles from like the mall like chinese spots at the mall like i don't know what to expect and they add all that kind of stuff like the lemons the limes the all that stuff they be adding and i'm just like i don't know like i'm picky but then again i'm not y'all know but i i'm thinking about getting the shrimp i think i want to get shrimp but i see a lot of people get beef so it's like mm, i don't know what to get i guess i'm gonna just see when i see the menu but I'm just ready to try it, y'all, because I know a lot of people like it. But then again, a lot of people say it's not all that and it's not the hype and it, people be doing too much and it's actually nasty. So I'm wondering what I will feel like. These these foodie vlogs, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's really going to be like, I really feel like I'm going to enjoy doing this, like enjoy catering to my big bag. Like, I love that for me. The first, the first one I did was trying the viral Chipotle bowl on TikTok, and I actually loved it. It was really good. And then this one, of course, we're going to try faux. And yeah, it's just going to be really, really nice. I'm excited. Don't look at my hair on my edges because they're not done. They're not done. These braids, oh, 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 like ancient Greece and Rome. I need to take them out. They hanging on by a thread. My edges pulling. They hurt. It, it's too much. I just need to take the braids out. But I'm trying to make them last because, baby, I paid a pretty penny for this. So, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my, um, my wear out of it. You know? I do plan on taking them out next week. Y'all probably going to see that. And then I'm going to do a little wash day because I never washed my hair in a minute. So, it should be, my hair should be down to my butt by now. So, 
I'm just ready to see that. I can't wait to get there and experience it. It's also going to be a solo date because as y'all can see, I'm not with nobody. So I'm, it's going to be a solo date just like the foodie vlog number one when I went to Chipotle. I think all the foodie vlogs I want to do a solo date. A solo date. But who knows? I might go eat out to a new restaurant with some friends or something like that. So it might not be solo. But I really, I think I'm really going to enjoy this series because like I said, I'm catering to my big bag activities. And it's just like, you know, trying new things, trying new foods, seeing what's the hype about stuff like that so like i said i'm about to pull up to ross and then we get this party started and pull up to the faux spa and see what it's talking about so i'm gonna see y'all when i get to faux 97 and i'm really really excited it's really nice look at this oh lordy hold up faux 97 so let's go inside and see what it's all about I made it inside and I'm at a table by myself. Just me and my little purse. I got the menu. So I'm about to see what I want to eat. What kind of foe I want. Thank you. I'm about to see what kind of foe I want. I ordered me a regular lemonade. I know sometimes people be getting the fancy like drinks that they be having and I looked at them but I don't know. I don't want to get nothing that I won't like. So I just got me so I just got me a lemonade. Okay, so looking at the menu, I think that I'm just going to get um, the faux, so they have faux with rare steak, flank, beef meatball, seafood, veggie and tofu, chicken combination, house special, and noodle soup. Um beef noodle soup with chicken beef noodle soup with seafood shrimp fish ball mm -mm. i think that i just want i really don't know yo i don't know how it go like i don't know how to order <laughs> um i'm new so it's my first time are you looking at appetizers new recommendations for that or are you gonna straight to the um, I'll try the spring roll. Spring rolls? What's, what's popular? Spring rolls are popular. The starter roll. The chicken nuggets. Um, the wings are also popular. Okay, I'll try the spring rolls. Um, and I also wanted to try the pho. Which one? I'm not sure. We have, most popular ones are probably the seafood and chicken. Um, a very safe option is the beef. And if you want to just try the combination, which has beef, flank, tripe, you can try that also. Um, our house special comes with all that and our oxtail soup. Okay. And which one you said was, which one is most popular? Seafood and chicken. Seafood and chicken. Okay. So yeah, I'll try the spring rolls and then I'll just look over the meat for another minute. Thank you. So, he told me what's popular. He told me what people be getting. So I gotta see what I want. He said the most safe option, y'all probably heard him, but whatever. The most safe option was, is the beef. But I, I kind of wanted some shrimp. But I did give me an appetizer. I got me some spring rolls or whatever. So, And I heard people talking about that on TikTok too. So I'm hoping it's good. Y'all, I'm picky like. I hope it's good. I really don't know which pho to get. They have all these toppings, y'all, that they be putting. Look at all the toppings and stuff. 
I really don't know what fuck to get. But. I don't know. It's my first time. I'm new. But I know I wanted some shrimp. I'm going to wait for my spring rolls. And I'm going to talk to y'all when they get here. And then we're going to decide which fun I'm going to get because I need to decide. So. Hey y'all, I think I like this angle better and I'm back. I did order my pho. I got beef and shrimp, which the shrimp was an extra $5. So I got that because I really wanted shrimp. But he said the safest one to get if you're new and you're just like trying it for the first time is beef so i got beef too and i wanted the shrimp too so i just got both spring rolls are here i'm gonna let y'all see how it look closer i'm gonna try these hopefully they are good let me take a picture first I don't like that. It tastes like the bottom of the ocean. Was I supposed to dress it up and put other stuff on it? Mm -mm. I don't like it. Hopefully the full pho don't taste like that because that tastes like shrimp, fresh shrimp from the bottom of the ocean leaves plastic and seaweed i can't and if i took another bite my stomach was gonna hurt and be queasy and i'm probably gonna throw up but i should have never got that no i don't know why i got that i don't know why i went so to get an appetizer no one i was coming for just fun like why you always want to do the most not as eight extra dollars on my ticket. And I and I always did. My stomach hurt. My stomach starting to hurt from that. God, I always wanna do the most. But we go wait for the fall. And if it's nasty, I'm gonna give me something to eat because I never eat all day and I'm hungry. But hopefully it's not nasty. I think it's gonna be way better than that because it's like more seasoned, the soup and it's it's just way it's it's just way different, but so we gonna wait and see. Hopefully it's better. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Hey vlog, I'm back. I didn't get my food yet, but I'm about to search, do my research. I'm about to do my research on TikTok to see what people put in their food. So she put the sriracha sauce. Oops, she put this. Bay leaves and jalapenos 
in line. So right now I only have these two things. So hopefully they give me jalapenos and babies and stuff like that on the plate or with the bowl. I'm so kind of sad that the spring rolls was nasty to me. Um, but I'm still waiting on my food. And yeah, I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube while I wait on my food. It's no in between. Miss Michaela Amari and wait on my food. Hopefully, it comes out in the next couple minutes because I'm ready to try it and I'm hungry. So, I'm gonna see y'all when the food comes out. Yo, he literally just brought me this. I literally just said, I hope they bring me this. Like, two minutes ago in that other clip but they bought me everything that I need so hopefully that means the food is about to come out thank you, thank you. I want to know how it tastes now so I'm gonna go go ahead and taste it before I add anything Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna squeeze my lines. Yeah. I'm gonna put my jalapenos. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. I don't know what that is. It's like tree roots. Yeah. And I'm gonna put some of these. Why did they pull a branch off a tree and give it to me to put in my food? Okay, now I'm gonna put the, this. Okay, I'm gonna I don't know how, how much I'm supposed to be putting, y'all. I'm just putting stuff. Some of this. Now we're gonna mix it around and try it again. I don't think I put enough of this because the people stuff be looking orange reddish. Mine don't look like that. I hope I'm not putting too much. Okay. Now I feel like it's tasting like something. Okay, this pepper. Ooh. I'm gonna put some more of this. I don't know why, I just wanna put some more. And then I don't know what this is. I'm gonna put me a scoop. And this, don't know what it is. Mm -mm, I'm not putting it. Let me get my picture. Oh wait, let me mix that in. You.
Okay, now we're gonna taste it again. I don't know how to use chopsticks, y'all. Like, I really don't. Let's try the beef. Try the shrimps. Okay. I do like this. It doesn't hold a lot of a lot of flavor in the noodles. That's why most people like eat it like this. How I'm eating it, put the noodles on top, eat the noodles, and then drink a little bit of the juice because the juice is where the flavor is. And um, yeah. But I think I went a little overboard on the whatever is spicy like that. My nose about to run off my face out the door. Baby. My lips and I'm burning, buzzing. Only is it pepper, but it's hot. And I need to take this jacket up before I pass out. Excuse me. All in all, it's really good. It's different. 
I feel like I wasn't expecting it to taste like this, but then again, I was. I don't know how to explain it because y'all ever been to like hibachi and they give you that little soup? It's almost like that at the beginning before you put all of the ingredients that you want to put. But I'm enjoying it. It's really different and I'm happy that I got to try it. But I'm about to munch down on this bowl. I really don't even low-key, like I low-key don't even want to take this home with me because I don't think I'm going to eat it tonight. Like I don't think I'm going to heat this up and eat it. Thank you. Do you want to go cup for your own Um, please, yes. I'm scared to pour this in here. I'm making a mess. Look at this mess I made. Oh. I'm gonna just throw the bag in ice for another one. for another bag and some more chopsticks to go because as y'all seen my bag got all dirty and my chopsticks I want more I want new ones to leave with but I'm about to pack my stuff up pay for this ticket and I'll see you guys in the car hey y'all I'm back in the car I got my food I put in a seatbelt because I don't want it to fly flip and spill everywhere so yeah, she, she gonna sit right in. Please, don't be flying everywhere. But, my experience at this restaurant was definitely a 10 out of 10 service. It's very nice. It's very calm, very chill. It's nice in there, as y'all seen. 
spring roll spring rolls definitely give it a one out of ten because like i told y'all i i didn't like it definitely tasted like the bottom of the ocean and raw shrimp the foe was plain before I added the stuff. Um, when I added the stuff, it definitely gave it all the flavor that it needed and that it was missing. It filled me up. I'm very full. In regards to coming back, I don't know if I would ever crave pho. pho. I don't know if one day I'll be like, ooh, I want some pho. I don't know. I don't think it's that good to me. Not saying it's nasty because it's not. The pho was not nasty. It was actually a very good taste. It had a very good taste. It was different. And I enjoyed it. But coming back, I'm going to have to think about that one. And I don't think it'll be something that I crave regularly. So, that's my reviews for the pho. Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. Foodie vlog number two. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Follow my social medias down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss when I post. Catch your knees out. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.